um hello everyone i hope that you can hear me today we're going to solve the simple problem which is also in your slides so we just want to see how um attractors and how sir mentioned cyclic and point attractors are made and how um different states leads to which sort of an outcome so a few tricks that i'm going to tell you in this particular video first of all when you see something like that it's always easier to make rules out of this so p53 is equals to not mdm 2 because mdm2 inhibits p53 and p53 activates mdm2 so mdm2 will be z equals to p53 i mentioned this here also because some of you asked uh, during your task 1 how these rules are made so this is essentially how this is a very simple example of how we make these rules so once we have this done we want to see how much exhaustive states do we need to make for this particular uh, system So we have two nodes over here. So the formula is two raised to power n, right? N is the number of nodes. So for this example, it's two raised to power two, which is four. Now what do we do with this four? So we use this four to make an exhaustive sample. So for that, we do this: zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. And this is going to be exhaustive sample for t is equals to zero, right? So let's just draw a line here so we can distinguish. the time steps and what states we have right so um so if you have a network which has four nodes which would mean 2 raised to power 4 which is going to be 16 so uh, there's a trend here so if you want to see some like easy shortcut way so if you have a 16 uh, exhaustive state samples you can always write four zeros and then four ones and then you know two zeros two ones two zeros two one so that's an easier way of making the sample you basically have to write every state that can exist given this particular system here so for time t is equals to 1 we're going to see how this state changes so um we see that so we're going to write sorry this space left mdm2 p53 mdm2 p53 T is equals to two. T is equals to three. T is equals to four. Just take your time when you do this, because um, if you get this wrong, you know you have to do it really all over again. So just to make sure that you know what you're doing. So I'm going to write M here and P here because I don't have much space. So you're going to see how these nodes change with the sequence of your know, time. So uh for the first one for t is equals to 1 let's see. So mdm2 is 0, right? So we want to know what happens to p53 at that time. So mdm2 is activated by p53, right? And p53 is inhibited by mdm2. If mdm2 is 0, nobody is inhibiting p53. So p53 needs to be 1. And if p53 is 0, nobody is activating mdm2 for this particular system. So this will be 0. there is no activation so mdm2 will not be existing in the system given that there is only two nodes here so mdm2 will be zero let's look at the next state so um if you have mdm2 zero and you have p51 let's look at one mdm2 is zero and mdm2 inhibits p53 so if there is no inhibition p53 will exist whereas mdm2 is activated by p53 So with the activation of p53 mdm2 will exist. Let's move on to the third one. If mdm2 is in the system, p53 will not be in the system and there is no activation through p53 to mdm2 then mdm2 will not exist. If let's look at the other one, mdm2 inhibits p53. So there is p53. If it exists, p53 won't. And p53 activates mdm2. If it exists, mdm2 will. So, so now let's move towards the shortcuts. So, for shortcut for this particular exercise can be, so we for this system, and we usually give you um, four, five, six node system, so not that big. So, what you can do is that you can use these rules to then populate the entire table, which is going to be easiest. Follow this. right so we know that mdm2 will be activated p53 right so if p53 exist mdm2 will exist 
right? So over here it's going to be 1 and over here it's going to be oh, hold on. Yes, it's going to be 1 and for if there is MDM 53 in the system, MDM2 will exist and if there is no P53, MDM2 will not exist. So the opposite is for P53. If there is no MDM2, P53 will exist. If there is MDM2, P53 won't. Um, it will exist. It won't. Right? So same goes for the next column. So MDM2 will exist if P53 will exist. Right? So there's a 1 and 1. 0, 0. Right? And it MP53 will not exist if MDM2 is in the system. So 0, 0, 1, 0. Sorry. Yeah, 1. Sorry. Right. So we have these four times step 3. We are ready for that. So, uh, yeah, I have a cheat sheet over there. So um, this is how you'll make sure that... Um, this is how you can actually do this exercise easy way. So you just look at one component. So MDM2 will exist if P53 will exist. So no P53, no. Let's speed it up, okay? And P53 will not exist if MDM2 is in the system. So 0, 1, 0, 1. Let's look at here. MDM2 will not exist. P53 will exist right okay yes i'm doing it right okay um so mdm2 will exist if p53 is in the system and p53 will not exist if mdm2 is in the system so if it's not in system it will exist right okay so i'm down to t is equal to six let's see if i have some attractors over here so attractors basically means that the state same states keep reoccurring so it can either be the same state or it can be a cyclic attractor in which the states keep coming to the same place. So if we start from, let's say we start from um, 0, 1. So 0, 1 goes into 1, 1. 1, 1 goes into 1, 0. 1, 0 goes into 0, 0. And then 0, 0 goes into 0, 1. And which again goes to 1, 1. Oh, this is a cyclic attractor. You can also do another time step to just to be sure. But this seems to be a cyclic attractor. Let's see if we can also find other cyclic attractors. And let's see if this cyclic attractor is reoccurring. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, yeah, same thing. Okay, cool. So, okay, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So, like, same thing. So, you can just, you know, stop over here. So, this is a cyclic attractor with a length 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four network states here. So this is a cyclic attractor, which is going from 0, 1 to 1, 1 to 1, 0 to 0, 0, right? And sort of comes here. So you cannot be asked in the exam with the quiz of how to make cyclic attractors. There are no point attractors here, but we'll try to do another exercise in which we'll also show you how to do point attractors, and we'll have a three-node system. Again, the example is already mentioned in the slides, but we're going to work through it. Right, I hope this helps. Right, good luck.